Hello children, welcome back to the unit of inquiry class. So in the last class we were discussing about ancient Egypt, right? We discussed about their beliefs, their values, their traditions and the God they followed, all that. So we already know that Egypt is an African country. So this time we are going to read about Africa and their beliefs, okay? That is ancient Africa, not the present Africa. So we discussing about their traditional religions, their beliefs and uh, their magic, okay, and some facts about ancient Africa. So talking about their religion, uh, religious practices, nowadays they follow Christianity and uh, Islamic religion, but in olden days that wasn't the case. So if you read this, the religions practiced by the majority of people living in Africa are Christianity and Islam. So most of the people, they follow it. However, there were many traditional religions practiced prior to the arrival of these two religions. So before these religions came into existence, okay, before the pre people came to know about these two religions, there were traditional religions, the ancient, the old people in the Africa, they had their own belief system. So today around 10% of the African population still practice some from the traditional religion, okay. So nowadays only 10% are following the old beliefs. Not everybody, only few people, they really practice that old beliefs and traditions. So that is what is about traditional religion. So the Christianity and Islamic religions are followed now, not before. Okay. So let us see what their common beliefs were in olden days. So in olden days, they used to believe in supreme God, nature spirit, ancestral spirits, sacrifice and rites of passage. So all these different gods, they had their own work to do, okay? Like in Hinduism, we have different gods, right? We believe in polytheism because we pray to different gods. They are in different forms. The same way Africans too had the, uh, you know, different types of god and they, uh, they were praying to them for different things. So let us see what it is. So supreme god, many African religions believed in the supreme god that created the world. So for them, the supreme god is the one who created the world. For uh, like us in Hindu religions, in Hinduism we say Brahma uh, is the one to create this world, right? So every religion has a creator. So in African tradition, in the ancient Africa, they believe that there is a supreme god, okay? And he is the one to create the world. Some examples include the God's old mayor of Nigeria and Katonda of Uganda. In some religions, this God may be prayed for help, but in others, the Supreme God does not interact with humans. So, some of the examples they have uh, given is old mayor of Nigeria and uh, Katonda of Uganda. So, these two gods are the Supreme God and in some of the religions, people pray to that God to get some help to solve their problems and they uh, they believe that these God will not interact with the humans interaction means like how we interact in the class the same way next is the nature spirit beneath the supreme God are number of spirits who mostly live in nature including animals water and the earth like we believe in different types of God as I mentioned and uh, during the inquiry of the types of belief system itself we came across a statement that we too have uh, you know the belief in different gods related to different elements of earth like you say uh, animals we say water air everything we have different gods sun god is there isn't it so animal is a god for them the same way earth is a god we also believe in that water is god so they too had that nature spirits upon after the supreme god what comes next to them is nature spirits so that includes nature so for them nature is also a god so under nature how can you segregate it it's like uh, animals water and the earth so this comes under nature spirits next is the ancestral spirits so the spirits of dead ancestors often played uh, an important part in the tradition of african religion so their relatives the, uh, the great grandparents of them uh, or someone in their family relative who uh, died uh, long years ago they are called ancestors so how it, it is a chain right it is a chain so we too have ancestors so they uh, believed in the spirits of dead ancestors and they followed them they like they uh, they like prayed to them 
and by honoring these spirits believers hope that the spirits would help them or would talk to them uh, talk to the supreme god on their behalf so in order to get seek help from the supreme god they used to pay, pray to the ancestral spirits they used to get the help of ancestral spirits because they are our family members who are dead now and we all often believe that the people who are dead are considered as god even in our religion we uh, do pray to the ancestral spirit so they too had the belief of ancestral spirits and they used to seek the help of ancestral spirit in order to get the uh, you know the blessings from the supreme god because for them the supreme god was the most important god okay next is sacrifice so most ancient african religions offered some sort of sacrifice to their gods or the spirits this is nothing but offerings like we do to our god so this sacrifice varied from small items like a portion of food or drink to much larger items like cattle or even human sacrifice so if you research on the internet or if you watch the videos uh, the documentaries uh, in every country most of the countries they talk about the human sacrifice so they believe that when you offer something to god whatever you pray for happens right so there are many controversies related to that so that was the belief they had in their country like they offer few items like food items drinks they offer to the god they offer uh, you know uh, cattle to the god so that they get the help from the god so whatever they have thought in their uh, mind that should happen that was their goal so for that they used to sacrifice next is rites of passage this uh, talks about the traditional religions uh, that is very important this is uh, related to the birth and uh, death of a person so everything has got a connection in it right whatever events happen in our life that is related to the rites of passage so uh, when you uh, look at this most of the beliefs of africans are the beliefs of indians also right if you see we too believe in supreme god we too believe in nature we too believe in uh, uh, ancestral spirits and we too have sacrifices like when we pray to our ancestral spirits we sacrifice the food we uh, sacrifice cattle it depends upon uh, the religion that we follow right not everybody but few people do follow it so this is their common beliefs in olden times not the beliefs now but still there are few people who follow these uh, beliefs okay so next when you talk about magic many traditional african religions believe in mysterious forces and magics they so they believed a lot in magics uh, for example priests uh, who are called as witch doctors they could cast spells or provide charms to help people with their illness or other problems so these priests are called as witch doctors who help the people who are ill to recover from that okay so that they recover so you would have seen in many movies or cartoons or books you would have read there he casted the spell she casted the spell it's nothing but using the magic to do something so make uh, making that uh, the, the person who has fallen sick uh, to make that person recover from that they use this magic okay sometimes the witch doctors use the herbs and other remedies to help the sick they also would tell the uh, future by using magic and uh you know casting the bones where they used to toss the bones or some other objects to tell the fortune fortune is nothing but to tell what is going to happen in the future everybody is interested to know that right so every religion and every part of the world we have different people uh, using different methods to uh, you know guess the fortune of the people right so their belief was they used to uh, put the bones like toss the bones uh, in the air and uh, or you can say they used to like they used to have the items like shell they used to toss it they just used to throw it down and uh, by that they used to guess the fortune we too have that uh, people who just throw the shells and they just tell our fortune whether we are we are having a good time we are having a bad time all these things uh, used to happen and this is what their uh, you know uh, magic was about then uh, they also used herbs medicinal plants to cure the person using the magic okay now certain artisans were considered uh, to use magic in their craft so some artists also used this magic in their craft crafts the most powerful of the artisans were the iron workers so iron workers were the most important people who used this uh, magic in their works and they kept this as a secret okay and they followed this as a ritual in their uh, tradition 
now when you talk about the rituals traditional rituals and ceremonies played an important part in the community because they follow different gods so definitely they will have you know they would have uh, had uh, traditional rituals and ceremonies events in their life so they used masks drums chanting and dancing uh, you know to uh, offer it as a part of the ritual so to offer it to the god they did uh, they wear masks as in the starting of this slide you would have seen they used to wear that kind of mask they used drums they used chanting they used to dance in front of the god and they took the help of uh, their ancestral spirits and the nature to assist them so that they make them happy they the ancestors and the nature uh, in order to make them happy they used to perform all these traditions so that is what is the generally the rituals called on the spirits of ancestors or the spirits of nature okay so they used to do all this in front of them even in many parts of uh, uh, india in villages we do uh, you know perform a dance as a ritual right we don't have the masks but we do wear uh, you know we do have the face paintings so different religions different people they have different beliefs from th there are ways it gets connected uh, you know somehow so that is what is uh, ritual then some of the facts that you can learn from the african people is that they uh, you know they had a mali empire they believed in magical force called uh, nyama and they believed uh, you know they they have the connection whenever they do something that was connected to god like everyday activity was connected to some of the other god like food work and family life now uh, they believed in both good and bad spirits so when we were discussing about the magic there were good uh, you know the magic was used for good purpose as well as for bad purpose also to make someone ill to make someone fall sick they used to use magic also at that time so good spirits would protect them while bad spirits could make them ill or make them misbehave that is not behaving in a proper way in the dry areas of africa certain priests would specialize as uh, you know rain makers they would drive away bad spirits that may have caused a drought and ask for help from god uh, good spirits on how they could make it rain so when there was a shortage of rain if you say when there was drought in their country so the priest called rain makers they used to uh, you know uh, they used to what drive away the bad spirits that is their thought was that it is the bad spirit who is stopping the rain because earth needs rain right otherwise everything will be dry so these priests uh, you know they use uh, good spirits they pray to good spirits uh, asking for rain and uh, by driving away the bad spirits although many africans today identify with christianity or islam as their religion many of them still participate in tradition african rituals so even though most of the people are following this uh, christianity and islam nowadays there are few people who still follow their old belief uh, systems that is in villages mostly in villages they never come out of their beliefs right because they are not getting mixed up with any city or something like that so they still keep following that and some traditional beliefs and rituals from africa you know spread to the americas in places like brazil and cuba so their religious system their beliefs their traditions are spread across different countries so every religious beliefs will be spreading like this right so that is uh, what is about the african culture now when you uh, finish reading this passage you need to do a reflection for this so how you are going to reflect is whenever you read something you make connections right you you can make connections in different ways making connection is by how it is related to something so in what i read part you have to write some facts or some beliefs or some traditions followed by africa that you understood from this passage you have to write in what i read there are three boxes for that you have to write that either you can write about their common beliefs or you can write about the facts you can write about the rituals you can write about the magic now in my connection they have given you three options here text to self text to text and text to world so text to self is when you read something like uh, when we were discussing we discussed that some of the uh, beliefs the gods they follow is also followed by us right we also believe in ancestral system so we when you write about the ancestral spirit nature spirit sacrifice all those things when you write in this what i read and if you say that i too believe in ancestral spirit i too perform uh, i too offer food to uh, my god and you say that i too believe in uh, supreme god it means you are connecting that passage about africa with yourself 
so when you are connecting some passage with yourself that is called as text to self okay when you connect what you have written about africa with some other book or some other countries uh, you know a passage you read from some other uh, you know from some other book related to some other country that becomes text to text because you are connecting this uh, text that is this passage text is not nothing but that passage when you are connecting that passage with, uh, with some other country's passage then you can uh, write it as text to text it is text to text now text to world is when you talk about something else like when you talk about the traditions uh, when you are connecting it with some other country or uh, when you are uh, connecting it with some other uh, tribes that they they used to follow this then it is text to the world so you can connect everything whatever you read not only a passage about africa whatever you read you always make connections with yourself or something you just get reminded of that and you just say it out like yes i have read it in this book i have watched the video yes i do that all these are connections okay so it depends upon how you make connections so there are three boxes for my connection also so what you have read if you are connecting it with, with your beliefs then it is text to uh, self if you are connecting it with some other passage you have read before that is text to text if you are connecting with some other country that you have uh, read about africa if it is followed in some other country then it is text to world so all the three boxes shouldn't be the same make sure that you are connecting it with three different aspects mentioned in this so complete this and submit it in the google classroom the link for this passage and the quiz related to this will also be uh, posted kindly go through it two three times so that you will understand it more and more so till i see you for the next class bye take care love you all